It's time for our Seen and Unseen segment, where we explore the cultural stories of the day. And for that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. Ray, now, mayors across the country have begun to reinstate our favorite mask mandates for their citizens. Mm. Um, but I guess the rules don't really apply to the mayors. Uh, apparently not, Laura. Uh, the day D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser issued her mask mandate, she partied with Dave Chappelle with no mask. Then on Saturday, the day the mask mandate went into effect, she officiated a wedding Aww. with no mask. And Bowser was photographed indoors at the wedding dinner, again, with no mask. <laughs> so read into that what you'd like. Now, in a statement, her office said she was actively eating or drinking, oh. Raymond. Oh, come on. Does it look like she's eating or in any way drinking in this shot? No one in the shot even has a flute or a fork in their hands. She was just ignoring her own mask guidance and not wanting to the rule to impinge on her social life. By the way, she attended a party with Dave Chappelle Sunday night at the Kennedy Center as well. No report yet on whether she had a mask on. Our mayor here in New Orleans, LaToya Cantrell, your favorite, she dropped a mask mandate on the city Friday. But just a few hours before, she attended a luncheon at a French Quarter restaurant without a mask. <laughs> the mayor even took pictures with diners, Laura. She wore, they wore masks, but she didn't. She left it off for Wolf Blitzer, too. Even in the state of Louisiana, I'm the first in the state to push for a mask mandate. It shouldn't be. People are dying. Children are dying. Well, according to the Times Picayune, Laura, exactly nine children have died in the state of Louisiana from COVID since it began. Our children are dying, all right, but in the streets, it's gunfire taking them out. Five people were shot on Bourbon Street. It, it, it looked like a crazed uh, wilding mm. in the street Sunday morning, and a juvenile was gunned down and killed nearby. That's the pandemic that this mayor needs to address, and all these mayors. They need to, to begin to implement and display what they're trying to force their citizenry to adopt. But, Raymond, Be we've good been role on, models. Yeah, we've been on this since March and April of 2020, mm -hmm. when they rolled out all the perpetual crisis measures, and they were going up to look at their boats, and they're going, families going to Florida, <laughs> and everyone else supposed to stay inside and just, you know, suck their thumbs. I mean, it's just, it's so obvious from the beginning. All right, what else, it, Ray? It, it, well, look, we've been covering the Hunter Biden art sale, Laura, for weeks. I even went down to that gallery. Well, government ethicists say the sky-high prices and scant oversight of this art sale, it's a tempting target for those looking to buy influence with the Biden administration. Well, now Biden, Hunter Biden, has reacted this way. What's your response to the people who are, you know, coming after, like, the prices of the work or... Other than them. Criticism of sharing your art to a wider audience than your friends and family is uh, its uh, a pretty courageous thing to do. <laughs> Laura, it is courageous. It is very—look, when you're facing federal investigation for failing to pay taxes on your foreign business dealings, it's courageous to set up an influence-peddling operation at a gallery with ties to China. That is courageous, I, I have to say. Hunter, I like the circle painting that looked like the toilet paper holders <laughs> stamped on it. I love that, but I'm, I can only pay 350k for it, all right, man. So, what can well, you do for me? All right. Well, look, it takes real courage to blow spit and ink through a pipe and call it art. That's yeah. courage. Uh, all now, right. Ra uh, Raymond, there's a U.S. Olympic shot putter, Raven Saunders. Was what was mm -hmm. that big? Uh, crossing the arms X sign at the end of that medal ceremony uh, the other day. What was that all about? Well, the U.S. Olympic said she, like, broke no rules by doing this protest, or did she or not? Right. Well, look, the Americans are trying to stretch the rules here. The Olympic Committee restricted protest, Laura, to before an event, but forbade them during medal ceremonies. Well, Team USA says Saunders did this gesture during the time reserved for pictures after the medals were mm. awarded. But she's on the podium. The International Olympic Committee is still looking into sanctioning Saunders. They have to enforce these rules, Laura, or otherwise these games are going to turn into constant rolling protests ceremonies. That's it's not so, what people want. Yeah. Well, I thought she was stretching. You know, when I do <laughs> my orange theory, I stretch like that. So um, I didn't well. I didn't understand. I don't know. The rules are the rules. But, you know, they, they're looking for little loopholes. But I think it wrecks the games. It's just, we, we, you know, we're there, we're there to watch the athleticism, which is impressive. But that's not. Raymond, thank you.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.